children at play. Here we go again, and uh, this is going to be two dollars a piece. So for two little fairy gardens, four dollars. Can't beat that for children at play. These here are the containers that my um, salads come in that I buy. So free. These are cuttings from my succulents. There's three different plants. Free. Scraps from other projects. Free. The only thing that I had to actually purchase and buy are these two little houses. They were $2 a piece. So that's how these ended up being $2 a piece. Everything else I already had. Here we are with the finished product. This is a $2 fairy garden. It turned out pretty cute. The only thing that I had to spend money on for this uh, fairy garden is the little house and I paid $2 for it. The plants were all succulents and cuttings from my own yard. The moss was from other projects, uh, scraps, because I never throw anything away, ask my husband, he'll tell you. And the rocks also were from some uh, other um, berry garden project leftovers. So it wasn't bad, $2. Oh, and the food container was um, in a, in a, a free item. There was, a salad came in it, I ate the salad and brought the container home. This is the other one. It turned out pretty cute too. Same thing. The container it's in was free. It was a container for uh, for my salad. The rocks are left over from other projects. The moss is left over from other projects. I just cut it down to make it fit. This, these are very small containers, so it wasn't very much I had to use. All the plants were succulent cuttings from my yard, so that the plants were no cost. So these were no cost except for two dollars and you can't beat that and it's a great thing and they're small enough that the small children can carry them around the houses are big enough they're not going to choke to death on them the only thing that you might be concerned about is the rocks uh, so maybe three three years or up maybe because of the rocks if you aren't worried about it you could just take the rocks out and they could still play with it uh, it's a great way for them to go around the yard and you take some cuttings off your succulents Put a little fairy garden and then they feel so good that they planted this It isn't anything at all. You just stick them in there Let them dry out about three days before you put them in there Water them. Uh, I don't know. Maybe once or twice a week. It depends on what time of the year it is like right now It's so hot maybe twice a week when we get into the fall uh, probably maybe once a week or every other week. Just depends on what the weather's like. If it's hot, you're going to have to water a little more. If it's really cool and not very much uh, to dry the soil out too bad, just go ahead and do whatever you think's proper for your area. Uh, it's a great little fairy garden, and the great thing about it, I haven't invested a lot. When the plants get a little too big for these containers, I just pop them out, put them into a bigger fairy garden, or put them in my yard. So it's a win-win-win. Well, until next time, this was um, Children at Play number five. So um, come back and see what number six is going to be. You're going to be surprised.